station and then catch the train so I can pick up the new motorcycle that I bought. So I checked in my bicycle and now I'm going to park it somewhere here. This is how we park bicycles in the Netherlands. Anyway, to on to the train. Okay, so what was I saying? I bought a new motorcycle. Oh, I am so super pumped to pick it up. So this is the third motorcycle that I ever bought. The first motorcycle ever was my Ducati Monster 796. Then I sold that bike to go traveling. Then I bought my second bike ever, which was Basanti in India. And then I traded Basanti for Dano. I still own Dano. And I really wonder what you guys think that I bought. I will give you a couple of clues that determined why I bought this motorcycle. First I have to put on my mouth mask. The only place in the Netherlands where you have to wear a mouth mask is when you take public transport. Anyway, first clue to which motorcycle I bought. I bought a motorcycle to tour around Europe. So my sweet Dano is still waiting for me in Peru, but I cannot go back there anytime soon. So I decided in the meantime to make a small tour around Europe because here Europe is opening up again, borders are opening. So I decided to buy a motorcycle for this Europe tour and two things are very important in my choice. First one, main thing is budget. So I didn't have a very big budget, so I bought a second hand bike for a very, very <laughs> low budget range. So don't expect a BMW GS or something like that. It is a very low budget bike that I bought and it's second hand, it's five years old. Second thing that played a role is that I'm going to ride around Europe and there's going to be a lot more tarmac in Europe so I don't really need a crazy crazy adventure bike because I will ride a lot more asphalt in this tour. So that's the second clue. Okay, third clue that plays an important role in my choice is the seat height. I have short little legs, I am 1 meter 68 but my legs are relatively short unfortunately. I am not blessed with beautiful long legs. Um, so that plays an important role. I have to fit on the bike. So those are the main things. Budget, uh, I looked for a second-hand bike with not a lot of uh, kilometers on it. One that will be good on tarmac, but that I can also take off-road, but it will not be the main thing. And what else? And seat height. So given those things, I started looking around the Netherlands and then I found a bike quite far from here. <laughs> Well, for, for us Dutch people it is. It's a one and a half hour train ride and then I'm going to pick it up and uh, ride it back to Utrecht. That's my train. So the dealer where I bought my bike, they told me that I can give them a phone call when I get here with the train and then they'll pick me up uh, with the car to take me to the dealer. Very nice. So let's call them. Um, ik kom mijn motor ophalen en ik ben met de trein gekomen. Ik ben nu bij station Hardenberg en Harry zei dat uh, dat kan hier wordt opgehaald. Oké, okay, dankjewel. <laughs> Yo, hoi. Come to pick me up. So I'll just wait here. So some of you are probably wondering why I am not going to tour around Europe on the Himalayan that I've been riding here in the Netherlands, Lima. Uh, that bike is not mine, so uh, it was lent to me, but uh, it's not mine. And uh, I want to, if I do like a tour and I go abroad, I, I want to do it on a bike that is mine. Um, so that's the reason. And I can already tell you that the bike that I just bought is not, again, a Himalayan. 
Um, I've now ridden 60,000 kilometers combined on this type of motorcycle. And of course, I will be riding even more when I can continue uh, with the no uh, towards Alaska. So for now, I just really want to ride something else. You know, I just want to uh, get some experience on another bike, you know, see how that feels like. Uh, I mean, I started riding the Himalayan kind of as a coincidence, you know, I came across this bike in India. I really liked it. I still like it. Um, but I just feel like I just want to do something else for now and I'm just really curious uh, about yeah, how it's like to do something like this on another bike. People are always asking me my opinion about loads of bikes and I'm always like I have no idea because I've never been riding anything else. So for me I think this is an awesome opportunity to uh, get some experience on another type of bike. And when it comes to my Europe plans, um, I mean of course I know that the crisis is not over yet and in some areas of the world it's still going really really badly like in uh, South America at the moment. Here in Europe, I mean here in the Netherlands it's pretty much under control and in a lot of European countries it is under control now. There might be partial lockdowns again but uh, it doesn't look like there's going to be massive lockdowns. So I feel like it should be possible to do something like this. As you know, I am always riding by myself. Uh, I'm not in contact with a lot of people, to be honest, or not in close contact. So I think it should be possible. And I'll just go into it really flexible, like I always do, without a super fixed plan. So I can just adapt to the circumstances and whatever happens, maybe I'll get locked down somewhere for two weeks um, I have no idea it is a possibility but I don't feel like that should be a massive problem I'm still in Europe I'm not too far away so yeah I'll just take it how it goes but um, in some areas you can definitely start uh, start riding again so I am just so extremely looking forward to it to pick up my normal life actually and do what I absolutely love doing I miss it so so much just being on the road I, I miss it I miss it every day there he is hi bedankt dat je me ophaalt en hoe heet jij Chardo Chardo ja top jij rijdt altijd bij deze bus Alleen nu even. Alleen nu even. Oh, nou, dat is ook leuk voor jou dan. Ja. <laughs> niet. Oh. Vrij lief een motor. Ja, ik heb nog geen rijbewijs. Oh, ik heb nog geen rijbewijs. Maar wel voor de auto wel. Net. Maar geen motor. Nee, rijbewijs. Geen, nog niet net al oh, een paar jaar, maar nog niet gemolden. Oh, waarom niet? Nog te jong. Nee, maar je mag toch wel tussen 18 en 21 mag je toch ook al wel uh, Jawel, rijden? Maar... Dat is te licht. Te licht. <laughs> We're there. I already see her! Alright, are you guys ready? <laughs> Alright, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Isn't she a beauty? So, she's from 2015. So, five years old and less than 10,000 kilometers on the clock. Um, so, this is the Honda CB500X. Um, and the newer model, the 2019 version, that's already a bit more towards adventure uh, motorcycles. So that one has a 19 inch front wheel and this one is only 17. But that one was again, I don't know, 2000 euro more expensive. So because of the budget I chose for this one and um, I think I'll be able to go off road anyway with this one as well. I just have to be a little bit more careful because my ground clearance is a little bit less, of course. And I don't have the, the bigger uh, front wheel. But I think I can really have some really awesome adventures in Europe with this motorcycle. So uh, yeah, let's take her for a ride. All right, let's check the sound of this baby. Such a different sound, right? the difference <laughs> so this uh, Honda has a 500 cc and it has double the horsepower than the Himalayan 
and that's why I really really notice. <laughs> Alright, let's go. back that was my first ride on my new bike i am super super stoked i cannot wait to start riding again so i will use the coming time to get some accessories that are needed uh, some protection here and there um, and some different tires so the bike is ready for some uh, lightweight adventure uh, through europe um, so that's what i'm going to do next and i will make some videos about that and also a uh, tour around the netherlands a little bit more on this bike very important a name the bike needs a name so if you know a cool name for this motorcycle then drop it down in the comments below and then i'll pick a nice one um, so that was it for today i really hope you liked this video if you did please give a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and then i'll see you in the next video